How's it going guys? We have a medium difficulty question for hematology for step one internal medicine for 2CK. This type of question shows up all over the NBME exams. Explain exactly what we need to know. No waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram links to the Telegram group channel down below. Now start the clip. 32 year old woman today, history of fever, dysuria, no past medical history, works in a clothing factory using aniline dyes. Hemoglobin 13 grams per deciliter should be 12 to 17.5 in menstruating women, 13 to 17.5 in non menstruating women and men. White blood cells elevated 30,000 per microliter, should be 4 to 11,000. Platelets 250,000 per microliter, should be 150 to 450,000 per microliter. Temperature 10 to Fahrenheit, she's febrile. Your analysis positive for leukocyte esterase and nitrates, which means we have some sort of infection present. There are three to four RBCs per high powered field of light microscopy, which is negative. Okay, so I've seen on surgery forms for 2CK, they'll give three to four RBCs, and you're like, OMG, there's red blood cells. It's negative. Okay, blood smear is shown, and I'll explain this as we move through the clip. So question wants to know simply what's most likely to be seen as patient. Let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A, squamous neoplasia, wrong fucking answer. So if we were to relate this to genitourinary renal type stuff, if we had squamous cell carcinoma of the bladder, that would be schistosoma hematobium, a fluke, which is a trematode, a type of helminth. They're going to mention 23-year-old dude goes to Africa backpacking. He was swimming in a lake, and then months later, he's got red urine, okay? Uh, Schistoma hematobium can lay its eggs in the uh, the wall of the bladder, cystic veins during the bladder cal can calcify, granulomatous, point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, transitional cell neoplasia, wrong fucking answer. So transitional cell carcinoma, sure, decide to be an asshole. I mean, aniline dyes is a specific cause of transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder, smoking being the most common cause, okay, overall. But this, there's just way too much going on in this question, okay? It's just simply not a scenario where EG, patient over the age of 50, who's been working in a factory for a long time, no other findings, just some blood in the urine, that's it, okay? That's how bladder cancer often presents. And that could be transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Tracy. 922 translocation Philadelphia chromosome chronic myelogenous leukemia wrong fucking answer so this will form a oncogenic tyrosine kinase fusion protein okay and if they want cml they're going to give you often leukocytosis of course but they'll give you all the different white blood cells down the page that are myelo sounding cells so myelocytes promyelocytes metamyelocytes low leukocyte alp very overrated students get hysterical about that okay and the smear completely different they would show you what i refer to as a motley mix which is just a soup of all different types of cells you look at the smear you're like no idea what i'm fucking looking at but i see tons of different cell types there that's the Motley Mix. That's CML. Okay, I'll. It's in my uh, high yield hematology PDF, which I'll link in the comments below. Okay, you can go through all that stuff. Treat with a matinib. Okay, matinib targets the BCRABL tyrosine kinase, and that drug can cause fluid retention. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D: reactive granulocytosis. Correct answer. Granulocytes refers to neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, but is used synonymously with just neutrophils and eosinophils. So. For example, tangentially, a granulocytosis, neutropenia, same thing, okay? So this is neutrophilia. That's what our smear is showing us here. Diagnosis leukemoid reaction, which is going to be an infection that causes an exaggerated immune response where we get increased leukocyte release from the bone marrow reserve pool. I basically just quoted slash regurgitated what I've seen on NBME. So they'll give you the same fucking question and they'll say like, what's the mechanism for this patient's presentation? The answer would be, Increase leukocyte release from bone marrow reserve pool. Okay, that's leukemoid reaction. Literature sometimes says there are there are actually some places in the literature that say above fifty thousand. Absolute nonsense, garbage. U.S. Simile will give you white blood cells in the thirties. Okay, I've seen thirty-eight. I've seen thirty-two for leukemoid reaction. But they actually have leukemoid reaction as the correct answer. It'll be thirty-two thousand. Okay, so normally when we have an infection, a UTI. You could either have leukocytes in the normal range, you could have leukocytes maybe slightly elevated, 12,000, 14,000. But when you creep up into the 30s and above, you want to start thinking about leukemias as a differential. So OID, OID means looks like but ain't. So leukemoid reaction means it can look like a leukemia, but it's not a leukemia, okay, when you see leukocytes that are this high. So 
This is leukemoid reaction. You're getting neutrophilia on a smear. Okay, it's just an exaggerated immune response. So let's just quickly look through the last answer choice here. Reactive lymphocytosis, wrong fucking answer. I've never actually seen this as a correct answer in Yosemite. It's just a distractor in this case. Pertussis, in theory, could be an example where that too can look like ALL in kids. So they'll give you an eight-year-old and has a leukocyte count of 40,000, 90% lymphocytes. That's often ALL, okay? But if they throw in a cough, hypoglycemia, post-tussive, so post-tussive emesis, which is vomiting after a cough, that's pertussis. And for whatever fucking reason, you can get high lymphocytes, e.g. 90%, uh, with a high loose account where it looks like ALL. That, in theory, could be reactive lymphocytosis. Also, reactive T cells, unrelated. Reactive T cells with EBV mono, okay, those are CD8 plus T cells, reactive T cells to the B cells that are infected with mono, EBV. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal, make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.